Jay-Z went to bat for his wife at the Grammys, but does Beyonce really deserve an Album of the Year Grammy Award? There are two sides to every story, but there's only one backstory. After the controversial Grammys, Jay-Z fled to a room that was off limits behind the auditorium. Anger welled up in Jay-Z's chest. He ran on sheer rage, bursting through the back room office. Inside the hidden room was Josh Torres Howard. He made Dark Vader look like Prince Charming. Josh was the executive chairman of the Grammys. He wore a mischievous grin. Watching Jay-Z frantic movements gave him immediate pleasure. I saw your speech tonight, quite convincing, dangling on the verge of a movement. Jay-Z had grown accustomed to these sporadic interactions with Josh, but this time something felt different. I have two bones to pick with you. Josh placed his phone face down and entertained the rapper's objections. The Grammy for Best Rap Album is never televised. Why? A vortex of resentment took over Jay-Z's body. His legs were weak, but his proclamation was strong. Hip-hop leads the world in musical impressions on radio, television, streaming, and the internet. We should be able to celebrate that in front of the world. You should, but you won't. Jay-Z could taste blood. He came closer. What are y'all afraid of? A revolt? Josh sat quietly, swirling around the ice in his glass. Jay, you have a point, but they don't want to see hip-hop music at the forefront. It could disrupt some things. Isn't that the whole point of hip-hop music? To be used as a magnifying glass to highlight life's atrocities? No. We write you a check and you magnify what we deem as important. Capitalism at its best. Jay-Z's anger felt good, numbing his entire body. Hip-hop is a movement that could force us to change course in this country. Sorry, that's an option the gatekeepers aren't willing to take. Josh wet his tonsils and locked eyes with Jay-Z. We decide who and what gets to fly the flag of freedom. I have a moral obligations to the gatekeepers. Okay, what if we start our own Grammys? <laughs> you did. It's called the BET Awards and how is that going for you? You don't even show up to your own award show. What is that phrase you kids say? Make it make sense. Jay-Z listened, jogging his mind for a rebuttal. Maybe it's a black thing. <laughs> this isn't about race, it's about ego. We all have one. In a war of ego, the loser always wins. Okay, what about my wife's album of the year win? What about it? She deserved to win it for Sasha Fierce and the Lemonade album. I respect Taylor Swift's hustle, but come on. Josh's smile was lazy and burdened with untruths. Maybe Taylor is more talented. You definitely lost your mind. Three other black women won album of the year, Jay-Z, Natalie, Whitney, and Lauren. I say that's a great feat. Two are dead and one hasn't been seen in a decade. Jay-Z paced the room like a prosecutor trying a case. His aggressive tone withered away, replaced by a more gentle one. As I got to thinking, there is something all of these artists have in common, including James Brown, Tina Turner, and Michael Jackson. Jay, you and I had a distinct deal. Publishing. Masters. You coerced every artist to sell you their publishing before their death. Quite smart. Bravo, wise man. Took you three decades to get it. Jay, it's simple. You control the music. You control the people. So how much is Beyonce's album of the year worth to you? Sell us your publishing.